We always ask because, I mean, we've been doing it for seven years. Uh, well, we, that's not quite true. We're at the end of our sixth year, just about to start our seventh year. Uh, in that time, I photographed something like about oh, three and a half thousand cherubs. That's something like 15,000 sittings. Uh, it's because of the, the, the roll-on effect we get with it. We've then taken probably approaching 200,000 photographs. So there's a lot of photographs around. Uh, and so people have, well, one thing everybody's heard about it, but of course the thing that throws you is people move into the county uh, and they haven't had a bedroom before and they've not got any friends down here, so they haven't been exposed to it. So we always ask because it, if people don't know, then we always spend some time explaining to them. Right, let me explain. Uh, because everybody, everybody's concerned, and I've got to tell you, I was the biggest doubter of all time. When I was approached to do the Cherub scheme, I couldn't possibly see how I could afford to do it. Because at the end of the day, you're finishing up with a gift that is worth £235. Now, I know that there's sponsorship from the major companies, or some of the major companies, and I'll let the, you know, uh, provide uh, the folders and all those other bits and pieces. But it is a lot of money, and there's a lot of investment in time and labour. It's a very labour-intensive uh, situation we're faced with. Um, and I was really quite worried about it. Um, but the various powers that be said, look, you know, it is all right, it'll work. And just think of the additional business you'll get. And I could see the sense in that, because I thought, if you get it right, and you look after people, people will come back. Uh, and how I saw it, eventually, was that when you do the photographs, you come three times, four, eight, and twelve months, uh, you come back for viewing, so we see each other six times in the next eight months, so you build up a rapport. And at the end of it, I could see that perhaps in another twelve months, Claire would come back with, uh, uh, with, uh, sorry, it's, is it, um, no, Jake. Jake, with Jake, uh, and perhaps you'd come and we'd do a family sitting, and that happens, surely it happens. Uh, and that's wonderful. That's sort of the vertical progression that I could see. I got it wrong. That happens, but the big expansion is not vertical, it's lateral. And it's staggering. You, you can't believe how wide it is. I mean, we had, there's a lovely case, we had a telephone call from a chap that had a really gruff voice, and it sounded old to me, uh, but I wasn't sure. It was very Cornish. And, uh, I mean, one of the brownie boys to start with, he started off by saying, yeah, he said, you boy does the pictures of babies. Well, you call the boy, and I said, yeah, that's right, yeah. I said, oh, I said, handsome. So we chatted away for a bit, and the more he talked, the more confused I got. Because he, I, you know how your mind, when you're talking to somebody, and you don't want to talk, your mind starts working. And I'm thinking, this is perhaps the grandfather calling for his granddaughter, who's perhaps not married, or because you don't know these days. You, and you can't see people you don't know. And then I thought, oh, hang on a minute, perhaps he's the father, because again, this happens, you get you know, elderly men marrying young girls, it, this happens as well. So I'm, I'm really totally confused, and I'm walking on eggs, because I don't know what the hell to say to him, and he's not telling me anything, just talking. So in the end, I said, well, we better get you into the studio, or not, unless you think I'm there. So I said, well, and then I thought, oh, hell, it's one of the, because we've had lots of ladies that have been severely hurt. All sort of, I thought. Uh, so I said, oh, oh no, he said, too big, my handsome. <laughs> so I said, what's too big? Oh, he said, no, bless you, you don't know what I'm doing about these. So I said, no, I don't. He said, I'm master of the West Cornwall Hunt. He said, I want you to photograph me on my horse. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a direct result from Cherubs. And I, I said, well, sorry, you threw me by talking about babies. Ah, he said, of course. He said, now let me tell you, my farm worker's wife had a baby, and he bought photographs in show my missus. When we were having crowds the other day, I saw the pictures and I just saw your name. And I thought, anybody that can photograph babies like that can photograph horses. What's this? And that is absolute. You think of the kind of natural jump that is. We've had people coming to us from Italy because they've seen the photographs. She's been twice in the last nine months, spent a thousand pounds each time she's come. She doesn't have any discounts like you get. She's bought pictures, and she's flown from Italy. We've got people from Madrid. We've had somebody from America. We've got people from all over the UK. And that's all for flattering. And that's why we're very proud to be doing the charity, and why we take a great deal of time. That's what we do on the map. 
Well, it helps. It helps. Right. You get lovely people like this, but I have to put up with it. Can't they? <laughs> <laughs> we don't mind. <laughs> so we'll you can see. We're having a nice time. Yeah. You can see why we do cherubs. It's just the most amazing. It's not cherubs that actually makes the money. That you break even on, or perhaps do a bit better than. It, it depends. We lost money last year on cherubs. Not a lot, but we lost. But, but it does go this. But where the benefit is, and it is a benefit, is you meet so many people <coughs> who talk well of you. And then you get family sittings, we've had golden weddings, we've had weddings, we've had horses, we've had goldfish, we've had you name it. Yeah, that's and that's, that's, that's why we do it. It's as simple as that. And I always spend five minutes explaining to people that's what it's about. Because then they understand right. where we're coming from. They don't feel threatened. What you get at the end of the three sittings is this. That is yours. It has the cherub logo on the back. And only cherub partners can use those and get that because it's a registered trademark. And it has our studio boot on the front. But that's yours. Now, what? that's totally free. It's worth £235. And there's no question, it's yours. You don't have to pay a penny for that. However, there is this one. Now, I make no excuses. We used to give this, when we first started, that was the cherub holder. But because the cherub scheme has grown, it's gone into uh, Ireland, it's gone into Holland, uh, and this year they said, the budget has increased. It's £7 million spent this year. We thought, great, we've done the chance of making some money. And then they said, ah, oh, yeah, well, what's happened? In fact, we're spreading a bit more thinly because they've gone to Ireland. So, in fact, they've reduced it from that to that. Now, we'd had people that had been to us over seven years, six years, for two or three babies, one or even four, and they've all had that. And we thought, can't possibly do this. So what we'll say, because we knew that there were the people that invariably bought pictures, we've said, anybody that buys pictures at what we call the granny pack rate, which is the break-even figure, four for the price of three, a bit like Tesco's, you actually, we will give you this one instead of that one. Uh, because we did it to start with, the people who really be, but then we realised that we were disenfranchising the people that were now coming, Cherub Wands, who also would like, so we've used it as an incentive. It's as simple as that. You haven't got to spend a hate We won't ask you to spend anything at all. It's up to you. You won't be asked to buy. If, however, you do decide to buy pictures, and that's always a thrill to us because it's rather nice for people who like the pictures, and you buy at this rate of four at each of the sittings, we will give you the bigger folder without any further uh, uplifting. We just do it for you. So that's, that's entirely up to you. A, a, a granny pack costs uh, £81. It would normally cost £132 because, sorry, Dawn, uh, because the, the normal price for our pictures, the studio price, is heavily discounted. It comes down to £27 in cherubs for one picture, and then if you buy four, it's four for the price of three, so it's 81 pounds. If you buy more than that, and some people do, and they buy all ten pictures, and they have them in whatever order they wish, you can have two or three of one, and two or three of another one. If you buy ten, it's 135 pounds, and they're all produced in these beautiful folders. They're not just given to you as scrappy pictures, they all go into these heavy duty folders. And that's how you get them. So they look, and we always sign them either Tara, who is my assistant and colleague, and qualified photographer, or myself. So there's just the two of us. And, uh, but that's what you get. But they're really, they're yeah. nice. They're not, they're not rubbishy uh, no, no. uh, picture in slipping folders. Right. <coughs> now that's explained all that to you now. We'll just run through the agreement. Now, thank you very much indeed. To, uh, the agreement, in fact, is on my stationery, because obviously I'm dealing with you. Uh, the cherub skin. The first paragraph I'm not going to read to you because, in fact, it's just full of flour and, and uh, sales talk, and it just tells you how nice it is. I'll leave you to read that at your, at your leisure. But there is one important sentence, and that's the second sentence, and it says, "There is no obligation to purchase anything. Your folio is a wonderful gift." So they spell it out right from the get. Right. Appointments. Because of the success of the skin. We have to work strictly by appointment, therefore please be on time. If you fail to keep appointments or are late repeatedly, you would have broken the agreement and not received the portfolio. 
obviously, if you don't turn up, we can't win the pictures. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Viewings, at the end of the city, the appointment will make you to return in approximately 10 days to view the pictures. <clears throat> if you fail to view the pictures within 21 days from the date of the city, you will not proceed the portfolio. It's the same thing again. If you don't view the pictures, we can't allocate them for you, and therefore the whole thing folds up, you have it. Um, but don't worry too much about that 21 days. It's a benchmark. We know if you're sick or you've had to go on holiday, you've had to go up country to see something that's sick, just tell us, and we'll always rearrange it for you. It's not a problem. Only the parents may select the photograph for the portfolio, and under no circumstances may this be done by proxy. It has to be you, your husband or partner. It can't be me, I can't pick it for you. It can't be Uncle Fred who's a brilliant photographer. Because it's a gift, it's your choice. So you have to choose. Um, the responsibility to make the appointment for the next sitting, four months after the end of the last sitting, is yours. We may not telephone you. We're not allowed to telephone you because that's seen as canvassing and selling. So we can't phone you and say, come on, come on, Claire, we must have you in now to the photographs. So what we do here is the people that buy pictures, we say to them, if you like, again, we don't push anybody, if you want to, you can book ahead four months for the day of the time you wish to come. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. What you have to do is to telephone us a week before the sitting is due and we'll tell you what we're going to die. So if we want you to have, at the end of the day, we want you to have these photos. That's the important thing. We can't win if you don't have that. The photographs will be taken by whichever of our qualified photographers is available, that's either myself or Tara. And you can't stipulate I want Roger, I want Tara, because it is a free skip. And I'm not always here, so I'm looking after these guys or I'm at or whatever. But Tara is wonderful. She really is. I taught her, she knew nothing about photography, she's qualified and she's producing some really lovely work. She's very, very talented. Um, should you be unable to keep an appointment due to illness or unforeseen circumstances, please give as much good as possible. We must hear before 9 30 on the day of the city and, and then we'll rearrange your appointment. Now, we don't often do it, but we do reserve the right to make a charge of £20 for a late or missed appointment. Now, if you rush to hospital with a baby, there's no way you're going to do that. And we know when the people are telling us fairy stories. And we've had one or two people that have actually been awfully naughty and made up really horrible excuses about why they couldn't come because the child was early. Obviously, the paper wasn't, and we found out about it. And we will charge, because I've got to pay Dawn, I've got to pay Tara for being here, and we don't make money out of charity per se. So we we do reserve that right, but we don't often insist upon it, because most people treat us very reasonably. But it is there, as a, and I always tell people so that they go. <coughs> The collection of the completed portfolio, the completed portfolio must be collected within 28 days of the last sitting. Any portfolio not collected within 28 days is disposed of. That sounds ever so hard. They're not. They go out through the door before the paint's dry. People can't wait to get hold of them, obviously. But, again, because we can't telephone people, one of the reasons is they're concerned because it is possible for babies to die. And it is possible that partners split up or husband and wife split up. And they don't want us telephoning. So we, because it's a gift, and it's your gift, it's your property, we can't do anything with it. So there's a 28-day clause which gives us the right. I mean, I say it doesn't happen, but, but it's there. Copyright photographs take for to Roger Harvey. It's a criminal offence to copy or reproduce the photographs in any way. Copyright is like a paint sample situation. And the last one, Roger Harvey reserves the right to display any of the photographs taken and use them for promotional, competition or exhibition purposes unless agreed to the country in writing. Now, <clears throat> that sounds like it's looking after me. It isn't. It's looking after you. I'll explain why. I'm sure you've been up and down many high streets and you've seen photographs in shop windows, photographers' windows. In fact, you may not do that unless you have uh, written consent to do it. Because you should not display photographs. It is actually an offence. So we ask beforehand if we may do it. We assume we're going to do it unless she tells we can't. But I would add that there's no way that Tara or I would sell your photographs to produce Mother Care Boots for anybody else. If we did, we'd be struck off. And we wouldn't do that. It's only to use... I mean, in the last three years, I've won two Kodak Chapter of the Year awards. And I can't do that if I don't send photographs off. I mean, last year, the mum had, um, I think it was £500 for Mother Care vouchers, and she was in 200 beds. 
Uh, I've got a pat on the head, a box of film, and, uh, and, a, and a, a chap that looks like he can do a pasty. Uh, but, but, you know, it, it, that's we, it's the cue loss that we're on. Yeah. So that's why it's there. But if you have a problem, tell me, Claire, and nobody, nobody will ever see your photographs apart from you and I. Right. We're going to give you this top copy. We're going to put your chair number on it. We're going to give you this and photocopy it so we can get the photocopy of the file. And then we're going to start your photographs. Let me just get them up there. Have a little look through there, if you saw that, and then we will move the swing into action. Sorry, Phil. Okay. Oops, some socks on the floor there. Yeah. We win socks, <laughs> shoes, <laughs> you win. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll just pop this up with these copies and then we'll go straight to you. To have oh, do you need to sign both sides? Yes, we need Sorry. signing there and we need a date. The date is the, uh, the third, yes. I'm from uh, Somerset, from Bridgewater. Oh, I'm from so. Cumbria and Barry Furness. Oh, I can't wait to come down there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, sure. Can you go and give it a look? No, I'll take it from here. 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 What have you brought? I've brought this Christmas outfit. Oh, wonderful. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Full yeah. box. <laughs> Would you mind I sat outside? No. No, no at all. Yeah. No, you have pride of place. <laughs> that is a very important hat, Grannies. Uh, once you've done this, you, you can't lose anybody because that's actually on the film. And I know it seems like a waste, but I tell you, when you do 50 sittings a week, <laughs> and you think, I remember that baby, I know that one, <laughs> when you get to the end of the week, you think, just that one. <laughs> and I know when we first started, we, we made copious notes about a little boy in a petty bebe, uh, blue romper suit with blue eyes, and or, uh, you finished up the end of the day, and you got five of them. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice, isn't it? Oh, we're talking to ourselves. Jay. Jay. Harbo. I see you. <laughs> Who's that big boy? <laughs> yes, you are. You're gorgeous. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Jake. Jake. Hello. <laughs> He's really saying. <laughs> Hello. Jake. Jake. Okay, pick him up, please. Bring him back for the other thing. Bells. <laughs> are the finest things for calling children. Almost any child, but not everyone, but 99 out of 100, if they cry, if you get 
Uh, some dolls like this, if you can just shake quietly, you'd be surprised. It just, they just settle down. It really is odd. But, but bells are but nothing else but bells. It's a flat cushion over there. It's just a pillow. Yes. A pillow, right? Yes. Okay. And the, the quilt, in fact, again, you, I'm sure that uh, uh, Jan will know. But what we do is we buy quilted with bread on lace top and a satin back, and then just stitch them together. Well, you could buy it like this. You just stitch it, stitch it up. And we have two or three of them so they can be washed. Strong. <laughs> <laughs> He usually sucks whatever he's lying on. Oh. I see you. Jake! Jake! <laughs> You're used to that, isn't it? Jake! 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 Hello. Oh, what's that? Jake. 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 Hello. Hi. Pick him up. It's just very much on the shoulders, and of course the police are driving after you, so you can't. Yes, you can see that. It really does work. It's the most beautiful photograph. <laughs> but you really need a 120 mil lens for that. Have because you have. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think the beauty of the 120 is that you can get in close because you've got the macro. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It really does work. With some fantastic pictures. You can't, you can't pose them. You've just got to get them. Uh, and so you do that one, and then you go from that one to the, uh, uh, in the in the slopey chair again, but this time with the garden, please. Which you get from any garden section, all year round. And it's 57 pence a metre by two metres wide. Um, so you do that one, and then you do the last one in the poser. And that's a really nice set of photographs. They've got a really, you've, got, you've captured the mood, you've captured the ability of the child. You, and they, they react in different ways to different poses. I mean, some love being in the poser. I mean, most of them do. Some of them don't like laying on their tummies. Some of them don't like going in the chair. But there's always enough poses there to make up a, a good set of photographs. And you can, I mean, really, I, I've said there's, there's six poses, there's five poses, there's actually six, because uh, you can go in tight and you, you, you can get... You can get a, a you variation get, on any one of them. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you can get six poses out of those shots. Uh, so you've got basically a couple of pictures per pose. Per pose. Uh, it's, it's very, very good. The, uh, the bath towel uh, laid on like we've just done with... I uh, know, uh, oh we did that first. The, the, the bath towel and then the blue towel is bottom. And then in fact, or pink towel for the girls, uh, then, in fact, the uh, bare bum shot, which is uh, all, you're always going to be careful there. You've got to make sure that they've got the back to you so you're not showing any bits. Yes, quite. Um, even though they do wriggle about a bit, they're going to be quick. Uh, and then the last one, in fact, is wrapped in the bath sheet like a Roman toga. So they've got one bare arm and one bare shoulder. Oh, right, and you do that yeah. by sitting on, suppose you were sitting on the towel, the towel's out there, uh -huh. you bring the corner of the towel over, over the shoulder, and under the, you lift the leg up, put it under the leg, so that holds them. Right. Then bring this part of the towel up, lift that arm up, bring mm -hmm. it back over that side, right. and then lift them and put the end of it under their bottoms, so they're sitting on it. Right. So you've got a bare arm. Right. We've actually got a laurel wreath, or we can put uh, ducks in there. Oh, it's really nice. Yeah. It looks like you've just got to scoot them the bath, and wrap them up. Right, I'd like to see that, oh, if, yes, you, if anybody's yeah. busy. Yeah. But we've got shots of it anyway. Oh, you're right, right, right. <laughs> the Cherub 2 has the most uh, potential because there's still at a point where you can pretty well, not always, but pretty well manage them. Right. Because they're sitting up, so you've got a lot of shots you can do, more poses. Yes. When you get to chair three, you can't, because by this time they're 
all over the place. Well, they, they can be. Right. Uh, so you're going to get the. Sh you really want to do more photographs of the same sort of pose. Or I mean, the chair of three you saw this morning. Oh, we didn't do the whole shoe. Um, standing by the bench, sitting on the bench, coming to this end with a, a teddy bear in a Victorian baby chair, and then sitting in, standing by the Victorian baby chair, talking to the teddy bear. Take the teddy bear out, put them in. I think we've got a chair for you. So then you you sit them in the chair and do that. Then you bring right. them to this end, and we stand them in the flower pot. Right. <coughs> with Old, very old, washed out dungarees, putty coloured dungarees for a boy with a, a battered old straw hat on. And the little girl, we've got this dress, which is the same as Tara's picture in there. And we've had that dress for years, and I thought we'd have a problem. I thought people would say, oh, I, you know, my friends have that, I don't want that. We've tried to cut it out, we get it in the neck. I want that shot with the, with the pot, the, the, that little lovely dress. Because <laughs> they all know it's our dress. It's about 16 years old, that dress is. And it's just gorgeous. Got your money's worth out of that, then. Oh yeah. Uh, so it's it's quite interesting. You know, you you know, the one thing to remember is the customer <laughs> is always right, and they they do know what they want. Yeah. And they, they they've seen the pictures, and particularly if you're with more than one baby, they then want the same pictures again, which I would have always thought they wouldn't have done, but they do. They want the same pictures with the next baby. Are you due for that, Catherine? Uh, well, I've, we've had the first set, we've had the same as Jared. Yeah, there you But are. he had the toga, but um, I wasn't so keen on it. No. Personally, but... Uh, but, the but, pot but one, yes, the pot, the pot one, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you see, there is a chair of mum, mm -hmm. and she's been through it twice. So what I just said makes some sense, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, you see, but, but you try these comparisons, you ought to see how... Maybe that's it. I don't know. Maybe but... that's it, Mary. Because uh, as a photographer, you see, we're trying to be creative. Of course. And you say, well, do something different. And they say, no, don't really different. I want the same. Yeah. So you just back off and you say, right, that's fine. Yeah. You know, we have to... I mean, one of the best lessons I ever had was from somebody who I knew who was quite a famous oh. actor on, on London stage. Yeah. And he said to me... Uh, what you have to do is to realise that it's like being on stage. We do the same performance week in, day in, day out, week in, week out, year in, year out, in front of some of the big runs. And it gets to the point where you have to be totally professional and you've actually got to lift yourself to make it go like it's the first night. Mm -hmm. He said, and you're the same because what you, we, you know it and we know it but the customer doesn't know it. Yeah, yeah. And so you've got to be aware. It's your customer, it's our, our audience. And you're performing each time for those people afresh. Mm -hmm. You may know it backwards, but they don't. And that made me really think about it. So that's a different scheme. Completely different, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Just to confuse that. See, you cherubs is purely for Stephanie. Yeah. Four months, eight months, and twelve months. That's what the cherub scheme is. Um, with your mother and baby, that would be a separate sitting for you and her. Yeah. That, that's like a studio sitting, as if you were to come in, you, you know. Yeah. Which at the moment I feel that's enough at this age. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. If I, if I, I mean, pick that one. Bear in mind, we do keep the negatives. It's not yeah. as if you, you haven't got them. No. If you come right. back at eight months and. and see them at eight months and think, yeah, they're lovely. Ooh, but there was one in particular that I liked at four months. Yeah. We can always get the negatives out again for oh, you right. to have a look at. Right, well, that's not the way I don't want to sign. <laughs> it's a difficult one, isn't it? Okay, well, if I could have that one, yes, to go with the... Uh, right, so just that one for your folio today, yeah? Please. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Is that all right? Yeah. Um, I just think at this age, they're... You know, they are, a ba you know, at that stage, as long as you've got a few nice ones, they're much more interested as they open. Yeah, everybody yeah. sees it differently. As I say, a lot of people tend to purchase because it's the first professional yeah, um, you. Yeah. photograph, as yeah. it were. Um, you know, other people would rather have them when they're sitting up and a little bit more character. Yeah. But equally, if you're having a mother and baby as well, that's I another think that would be enough of this age. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, to be honest. All right, well, that's negative two. Date there for me. Okay. All you need to do now is wait till Stephanie's around eight months. 
and then sitting on her own. She doesn't have to be sitting for a, a, you know, a very long time. Um, just for a few seconds, yeah. because you know, there's always somebody up there at the side. Dropping them up. And then, <laughs> the rate she's going, I think she'll be sitting. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think you'll have a problem. <laughs> just give us a ring, sort of seven to ten days before you'd like her to yes. come in for. Right. Right. So, right. And we'll see you next month anyway. Lovely. Yeah. Well, that's great. Like I said, it'll be interesting and also depends how that one turns out as well, you know. Yeah. I mean, for the same then when you come back to have a look at those, if you wanted to have a look at these again, again we yeah. you know, more than happy to do oh, that.